The 155 Bonus Top Attack Anti-Armor Shell is designed for combating stationary or moving main battle tanks and armored vehicles in depth. Each 155 bonus carrier shell contains two sensor-fused armor-detecting submunitions. It's fired from a 155mm artillery gun. With a base bleed unit and a 52 caliber barrel, the bonus's range is 35 kilometers. Two cylinders holding the submunitions are ejected from the shell during the transition phase, 800 to 2,200 meters above the target area. Velocity and rotation are reduced. The submunitions are expelled from the cylinders and stabilized before the terminal phase. The wings and the multiband sensor unfold. The sensor is activated and the warhead is armed. The target area is scanned in a helical search pattern with 1.7 meters between each scan. In less than four seconds, a 32,000 square meter search area is covered by each submunition. The 155 Bonus Mark I is equipped with a multi-band infrared sensor package. The new 155 Bonus Mark II is also provided with a laser profile detector developed to meet future threats. The infrared detector operates in two spectral wave bands. The infrared detector senses and evaluates the infrared contrasts from the target area and separates the target from the background. To initiate the bonus warhead, a target must generate an acceptable 3D profile from the sensor and a correct signal in the main infrared band. This is an infrared radiation image from a tank target as registered from a bonus detector in a helicopter. The submunition uses the information from the sensor elements to calculate the size of the target. An object with a wrong size is characterized as a non-target and is rejected. An object is also rejected if its 3D signature is too high, too low, or too wide. Or if the subject is too hot, is burning, is illuminated by flares, or has a heat signature generated by solar reflectance. The bonus warhead initiates immediately on detection of a correct target. At a velocity of more than two kilometers a second, an explosively formed penetrator strikes through the top of the target. It can penetrate more than 130 millimeters of armor. The behind armor effect is devastating because of spalling and fragments. Here, a bonus shell is on its way to the target area. After 29.5 seconds, the cylinders are expelled. Six seconds later comes the second expulsion, now of the submunitions. The submunitions stabilize and the search phase starts. Test firings verify the high penetration capability of the 155 bonus and its high behind armor effect caused by spalling and fragments. The result? Full penetration of all plates.
In this freeze frame from the hit, the devastating cloud of fragments can clearly be seen. The 155 bonus is manufactured and assembled both in Sweden by Beaufort's Defense and in France by Jatte Industries. The entire production process is characterized by high quality, high precision and high safety in compliance with the strict specifications for the 155 bonus. Here, a warhead subsystem is being produced. The various bonus subsystems are manufactured in separate lines and then delivered for final assembly in Sweden and France. The warhead is provided with the electro-optical unit. The wings. Important to stable flight performance is exact position and attitude of the wings. Every step in the final assembly line is process controlled. Each sub-operation is control measured and must be approved before the next step. The safety and arming unit is locked in secured position by the cylinder's body. The cylinder's wings are folded before the cylinder is placed in its carrier shell. The assembly of cylinders, base bleed unit and carrier shell is carried out at one station. The cylinders are placed in the carrier shell. In the same machine, the base bleed unit is mounted. Finally, the shell's ogive, containing expulsion charge number one, is mounted. A number of shells from manufactured lots are test fired to verify that the quality, reliability and performance of the 155 bonus are in accordance with customer specifications. The 155 bonus has proved itself to be an effective weapon against main battle tanks and other reinforced armor units in depth. It finds and kills its target without warning in any environment.